Ascension. Hey, what's up, friends? It's Eric with Ascension Living. A little bit different today because I'm using my MacBook to record this video. It's a little windy, so you're probably going to see the screen going up and down a few times. But please bear with me. Um, I am in Florida right now visiting some family, and I'm not using my professional camera, and my phone just does not have enough space. I'm trying to delete, trying to figure that whole situation out, but um, I'm using my MacBook's photo booth to film this, so hopefully the quality is good enough. I think I'm going to speak loud enough so that you guys can understand me, but I think this will do. So I was working with a client today. We were on the phone, and she's doing amazing, like amazing progress. I'm, I'm so proud of her, but she had a question for me, and she wanted to know, why did I contract this virus? Like, what was it about my body? that made it possible for me to get this virus when there's other people having sex and they're not getting this virus. And so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that because after I explained it to her, I decided that this is something that a lot of people can actually uh, um, use. This is something that can explain it to a lot of people. So I'm trying to think about how I should break this down. I want to really simplify it so that anybody can understand it. When it comes to detoxification, let's generalize it. When it comes to detoxification, it's not about the specific herb you're taking for your ailment. It's not about the specific herb that you're taking for your cancer. It's not about the specific herb or the specific juice you're taking to detoxify tumors of your system. Yes, they help. You know, as I always say, herbs have their levels of consciousness. Certain juices are just amazing for tumors. I just made a video about the, uh, on the power of grapes and lemons. Again, don't mind the wind. But um, it's really about getting rid of what is accumulated. Disease is basically just systemic acidosis. And the job of parasites and viruses, and by the way, viruses are just ma microscopic parasites. They're not alive, but they do have a level of consciousness. It's almost like DNA coding, and so you're basically trying to flush that out of your system. You can't kill a virus, but you can detox a virus so that you can become negative and be cured. You can, however, kill a, a general parasite. So a tapeworm, yes, you can kill that. You can't kill a virus, though, because again, that's like DNA coding. It basically just tells your cells what to do. But when you make it so that your body is inhospitable to something like that, to a microorganism like a virus, it comes out of your urine through your kidney filtration. You have to make sure that your kidneys are filtering. So the reason why our bodies take on things like, let's say parasites, so let's say something like a tapeworm. Tapeworms love to eat everything that you eat. It can take a really long time to kill something like a tapeworm. The job of a parasite is to feed off of waste. That's it. You are their host, they want to feed off of your waste. So what you need to do is detoxify your entire system. It's not about the herbs that you're taking, so to speak, even though there are, par there are great parasitic herbs, but it's about getting rid of the waste and stopping the cause of it. So the reason why, I, I explained it to my client, the reason why she had this virus is because of what she was eating. She wasn't going to the restroom enough, so that junk was accumulating in her gut. And if that was just in her gut, what would happen? She would start to mold from the inside out. So to slow down that process, what happens is, when you eat these parasites, your body becomes hospitable to them so that they can start eating the junk. So since you're not using the restroom enough, and since you're not getting rid of this junk, and you're eating acidic foods, you know, chemistry that's detrimental to the human growth and evolution, what happens is that you have a whole bunch of junk here, and what's going to eat it? Obviously the parasites, and it's the same thing with viruses. You have a lot of junk in your blood, you have a lot of junk in your gut, so what happens? A virus needs to go in and it needs to eat it, because if it doesn't, then it's just going to keep circulating, and then you're just going to die, you know, you're going to be in extreme pain. And so when you see something like an outbreak from herpes, or if you see something like someone who, who has the HIV viral load, those viruses, what their jobs are, are basically to just feed off of the junk that's accumulated in the gut. So that's why I always say, you know, it's, uh, fasting is a great idea for someone who has like a viral issue. I've spoken to many people on the phone who have actually reversed these so-called incurable diseases, and it can take you two months, it can take you five months, everyone's body is different, which is what I, why I always say that I can't give somebody like a one-size fits all protocols. See, I'm noticing I'm getting a lot of clients and a lot of inquiries from people with viruses. And the thing with that is you got to understand that when it comes to a virus, everyone's body is different. For example, if someone goes to the restroom three times a day and they have a virus and then someone else has that same virus, but they're going to the restroom two times a week, they're not going to be on the same herbs. And you're not supposed to just take a specific herb to try and detoxify a virus. You have to detoxify the entire system. And you do that with raw living foods. You do that with a little bit of fasting. <clears throat> and you do that with the right herbs based on your entire body. See, I now have a program and I offer a full health assessment. So you'll get to know what the status of your pancreas is, where your liver is, your adrenals, your liver, your gallbladder, your blood, your lymphatic system, which is the most important system that is your main immune system. You gotta know where everything is at so that you can follow an entire herbal uh, protocol to address all of the body's blockages. Once you address all the body's blockages, you're eating raw living food so your channels of elimination are open, you will naturally release the virus through urination. 
you know, by any viral load, it doesn't matter what the virus is, and I've seen it happen, you know. Trust me when I say I've dealt with people who have seen negative tests. As a matter of fact, I have a, a testimonial coming up soon. I hope she doesn't change her mind, but there's a client of mine that tested negative after I think it was about five months since I've been working with her. She was one of my first clients, actually, and she's seen amazing progress, and she's actually tested negative. Her IgG and IgM tests came back completely negative because she did the work. So I just wanted to come on here and share this with you guys. If you have a virus or if you have um, parasites, basically your body kept on to these viruses and to these parasites. Really, as crazy as it sounds, it's really because your body loves you and it knows that if it just let go of these creatures right away, then what, was, what would happen? This waste would just be there and it would just basically essentially rot you from the inside out, you know, rather than just have some parasites eating that waste. And a lot of the waste they can't even eat because a lot of it is stuck deep inside the wall. So there's herbs like um, psyllium husk and there's herbs like uh, activated charcoal, things that can really reach inside the wall and pull out things like sulfur from medications and antibiotics. Those things are very important. You know, we can't break the laws of nature or the laws of God. The same way you can't send hate out into the world and think that, you know, you're going to be filled with loving people who are going to care and nurture for you. Or the same way you can't hang out with low vibrational people and expect that, you know, you're going to attract high vibrational people, you're going to attract a healthy relationship or healthy friendships. It's the same way that you can't consume chemistry, consume food that's detrimental to the expansion of your spirit and expect, you know, evolution. But um, detoxification and getting rid of things like viruses, it's all about what you're getting rid of. It's not so much what you're adding in. Once you're getting rid of the cause and you start to do some detoxification, then you bring in the right herbs and it starts to stimulate all of your organs, everything that needs the most help. And then you see elimination of things like viruses and tumor and cancers and fibromyalgia and all these crazy autoimmune diseases. There's only one disease, it's acidosis, it's systemic acidosis. What is cancer? It's basically cellular constipation due to acidosis. Everything goes back to acidosis. So I realized that a lot of people needed more time than two weeks. I was doing two week consultations and writing two week protocols. but. Just like the client that I worked with that it took her, you know, about five months to finally get her HSV negative test. People need more time, realistically. I didn't want to keep charging people every two weeks, so I just came up with an um, eight-week program, eight-week master detox program, where I assess your entire health. I came up with an entire health assessment where we, t we literally tackle every single organ in the body. So we talk about your pancreas, we talk about your lymphatic system. I ask you 101 questions that we really figure out what needs the most help in your body. And then I write you a, uh, a specific customized eight week herbal protocol based on your body that will also target any other disease that you have. So if it's a virus or if it's cancer, I'm dealing with all types of people, but this is a way better way to do it. I just started my business in January. So I've been you know, seeing how things are going and making improvements as I go along. Next year, this time it'll probably be in a completely different place and even better. But um, this eight week master detox program, I'm really excited about. So if it's something that you're interested in and you wanna finally tackle this issue, the systemic acidosis issue, and finally be free and have your mind expanded and, you know, have your soul set free and have your mind, body, and soul unified. <laughs> you want to attract everything that you want in this life, then please feel free to check out the link in my description box. I would love to help you. I would love to write you a protocol. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the, in, down below or contact me via the contact page on my website. And let's get started. Let's, you know, let's help the human species because we're going too far in, in one direction and we're supposed to be headed in a different direction humans don't know how good we are designed to really feel and it's that and it's because it's, that information is kept from us <sighs> because there's no profit in people being well anyways if you guys can do me a favor and like this video i would appreciate it like comment subscribe press the notification bell when you subscribe it helps the youtube algorithm and it helps youtube know that you want to see more videos that are about evolution and about health and um and it helps me out of course as well and i really appreciate you guys i've been getting a lot of new subscribers a lot of nice messages and emails and comments and I, I i see all of them even if i don't respond i try to respond to everybody but even if i don't i promise you i'm seeing them and i really appreciate it I, i'm so grateful for you guys i really am you guys have really changed my life because i'm doing this as a business now and i'm helping people and i feel fulfilled because of it so all right i'm gonna leave it at that as always peace love and blessings <laughs>